Hey guys, what's up? I'm Boyka, and on this video, I'm gonna be going over the Bloodstained Chivalry artifacts. And right over here, I'm gonna start with a flower, and the flower is this one over here, Bloodstained Flower of Iron. The feather is this one over here, Bloodstained Black Plume. The stopwatch looks like that, and it's called Bloodstained Final Hour. And this over here is the cup, this is what it looks like. And the name of it is Bloodstained Chevalier's Goblet. And finally, this is the headpiece right over here, Bloodstained Iron Mask. And the domain that you can farm them from, I'm gonna show it right now. As you can see, I'm in Mondstadt, and if I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit, right here near Mountain Auzang, there's gonna be one domain. You can, here on the corner, click Domains Only, and it's only gonna show you the domains. And the name of the domain is called Clear Pool at Mountain Cavern. So as you can see, I can fight on the last stage, which is this one over here, the Chamber 3. And from the Chamber 3, you basically have a higher chance of getting goals than from the other chambers, but in total there are like three stages or three chambers. And as you can see, the Bloodstained uh, Chivalry, you can get it from the first stage or the Chamber 1, but you can get only purple or four star of it. And as you move on to the second chamber or stage 2, here you can start getting the gold ones, which are the 5 star artifacts. And then on the last stage, you basically start getting of a higher chance of gold. And as you can see right here, you can only see the flower, but when you click on the flower over here, you can click either on the gold or the purple one, you're gonna see that the full set is also included. And just like before, as I showed you the pictures of them and the names of them, they're all over here. The flower, the feather, the stopwatch or the hourglass, the cup, and finally the headpiece, which is the mask. And what the Bloodstained Chivalry does is, two sets of it, two pieces, gives physical damage plus 25%, and when you have four pieces of sets of it, it gives, after defeating an opponent, increases charge attack damage by 50%, and reduces its stamina cost to zero for 10 seconds. And now I'm gonna go into the domain right here, I'm gonna clear it once and I'm gonna clear it with condensed resin so you can see what kind of rewards I'm gonna get. And if you wanna see the differences between condensed and original resin, I'm gonna leave a video up there where I talked about it and so you can watch it and compare them. And now we have cleared the domain right here and let's see what kind of rewards I'm gonna get and I'm gonna use the condensed resin once more. So let's see how many of them I got. As if I done none. Nope, nope. Wow, sadly the whole domain, like the whole fight over here, I didn't get any of them. But that's fine. So this was where you farmed the Bloodstain Chivalry from. And for that last stage over here, I'm just gonna go over there real quick. Right over here, if you go to the like, third chamber, and if you fight there, you're gonna basically have all the three types of different abyss mages there. You're gonna have the water one, the ice, and the fire one. And what you have to do there is basically kill the fire one first because he actually uh, has like a flying ghost bomb that like flies around all the time, like almost all the time. It like spawns at time to time and then like comes to you and starts expl exploding. So make sure to kill it first and like have like a water character so you can destroy his shield as fast as possible and then kill him and then move on to the other ones. If the video was helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for future content. I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye bye, take care.